Hi there, my name is Koen Verstrepen. I'm one of the co-founders of Vroemel and I would like to welcome you to another episode of Value From Mea. And this time we will have a chat with Peter de Smet from MediaHaas about uh, what it means to personalize online news and news in general. Hi Peter. Hi. What does it actually mean to be successful in online news? Okay, um, to be successful in online news or in news in general, uh, you need to be uh, and have relevant uh, news stories uh, because your audience, certainly when you when you are working in an online environment, um, uh, yeah, there's so much distraction possible than than other things that can can be uh, on, on happen on the internet, like uh, crazy cat movies or something like that. Yeah. But it's important for us that that they come to us, of course. So you you need to be relevant to your audience. And to be relevant to your audience, you have uh, you need good journalists and good good editors as well. Uh, but that's not something that is special for for now. It's 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 always been like that. Even mm -hmm. when we made only newspapers, yeah. um, it's actually the content. Yeah, the content is content. very 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 important. So it starts all with the content, but then. Um, of course, those newsrooms and those journalists, uh, back in the days, they only had to to, to do uh, one job. Uh, that's that's writing their stories for one mm -hmm. deadline. Now we have so many uh, deadlines. We have so many platforms. You have so many publication moments. So it's it's getting more and more complex. So we we, we need to help them to to make that digital transition because now okay. we're still a company that that's that, that's that has a, a very good solid print base, and and has a has has digital or is enrolling in digital, but we really need to, to focus and, and move on to, to a digital company that, that also does print. Okay, yeah. so does it mean that for a journalist uh, pro making content for uh, a print journal is, is different content than for, for a digital channel? That's what we are changing now because uh, until yeah, a couple of months ago, most of our newsrooms worked really separate. Mm -hmm. So there was a big group producing news for, uh, for, uh, for uh, the newspaper, mm -hmm. newspaper content. And there was a small group producing news for online news. Okay. That's what we are merging now together. Um, but but the, the digital transmission transformation is is not only a, a, an issue in newsrooms. Of course, it's it's an, it's, it's something that that, is, that has to happen in in, in whole media has uh, okay. in all departments. Uh, and that's to be uh, to come to the to the question uh, is 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 what what is really key in the in the next couple of months. And and actually, it's happening now already. We're, we're stuck. We're right stuck in the middle of it, uh, whether we like it or not. As a company, we, we will have to transform it into a digital company first. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. In this story, what is the role of personalization uh, to have success? I'd say, um, for me, personalization, it doesn't need to start with complex algorithms, because okay. I always say, we are personalization quite a lot already. Uh, to just give a simple example, with, uh, which I see at other new companies that, that isn't working already, and it's very simple, is just addressing people with their correct names. Okay. Uh, we're always trying to get names from people so we can address them in newsletters, address them on sites. Uh, so that's that's what starts. That's what well, actually that's that's a basic. But if you if you're asking about algorithms and and the more complex things that we are moving on to now, mm -hmm. uh, I really believe that um, for for in a news environment. It's important to um, have the right content to the right user at the right time. Mm -hmm. And that's what we're trying to do right now uh, with personalization, because that's what we see as well. Uh, it's very important to keep the users or the, the readers at our platforms for that just that, that bit longer than they would have to would have been otherwise. Mm -hmm. um, because that's also what we see. If people stay longer, they are uh, more likely to uh, convert. Yes. We, are, we, we can make them convert more easy. Easy. Uh, it's still yeah, difficult. It's still very difficult. <laughs> Conversion is yeah, always difficult. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> to say more easy. Uh, yeah. and, and, and they are less likely to churn as well. That's yeah. what we see in, in, in our numbers. Yeah, it makes sense, right? If you if you get more value from your subscription, mm. let's say, yeah, mm. then then you will be less likely yeah. to churn. That's that's yeah. cool. Actually, it's it's all about creating the better reading readers experience, news experience, and making it better and tailored for the for the users so they can find what they are looking for on our sites. Because we are producing tons and tons and tons of articles every day, 
mm -hmm. and for our users, it might be difficult sometimes to find those uh, content of, of the content that they are looking for. Yes. That's what we're trying to do. Okay, so if you talk about personalizing news, uh, mm -hmm. so what I mean is, you just said you have a lot of content and mm -hmm. you want to bring uh, the most relevant pieces of that collection of content mm -hmm. to every individual person. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And you want to make a personal selection. Mm -hmm. um, do you think that in news there are challenges that uh, are not present in, let's say, entertainment in yeah. general? Mm -hmm. Well, I'm, I'm not sure if you're with me, so correct me if I'm wrong, but um, I think personalizing news is more difficult than personalizing in an entertainment business. Okay, interesting. Uh, and I will, uh, I see two big differences. Uh, first of all, we have the challenge of our catalog, which is, like we, like I said, um, is, is, is changing every 10 minutes, every half an hour, every hour. Yes. We're constantly adding articles every day. And that's something that, uh, but I can't be mistaken that that is that is other than in like Spotify or Netflix where we always compare to. Yes. Um, Spotify, and Netflix, they add songs and, and videos every uh, every week, every month. Mm -hmm. uh, but we are adding articles and new articles, new content, new video every every hour, let's say. Yeah, and also so, the lifetime yeah, of these things yeah, is yeah. pretty short. I don't know yeah. what the lifetime of an article is, six hours, 10 hours maybe? Yeah, well, that's the second. So the shelf life of our articles, it's not necessarily because it can be a very good article. Let's say we, we had a very good example last week with the strikes. Uh, we made a very good article about uh, the, what are the strikes, what is happening, where, should, where are they, uh, what should you do, should you be home or not. Uh, we have a weekly recommendation mail uh, on Sunday. And it, yeah, of course, the shelf life of that article is, is that's relevant for, for, for Tuesday and Wednesday, not necessarily for Thursday and certainly not for, for Friday and Saturday. Yes. So actually, it's a, it's a, an, a shelf life that is, that is you know, less, uh, one day or two days, maybe. Uh, and that's a, 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 a challenge for us. We are actually um, trying to get the right articles by the users, but, but if the shelf, shelf life is not that long, mm -hmm. we should uh, move them out of the, of the selection. And okay. that's something that we are uh, looking at uh, okay. right now. Okay. So we have been talking about being successful in online news, mm -hmm. about being successful with personalization challenges, but actually how do you measure the success mm -hmm. uh, in general and personalization specifically in your context? We think it's very important that we can s keep our users longer on our platform, that they read longer, that they find the, the right content, so actually it's better for the user, it's better for us. Uh, so our, all our KPIs are built around keeping them longer on our platform. Um, that's our main KPI. Uh, secondly, um, we of course look at the click-through rates of, of when we are uh, mm -hmm. A/B testing uh, some things with personalization. Click-through rate is of, of course one of the one of the things we look at as well. Okay. Um, but that can be all uh, because. I always say it's easy to maybe it's easy to 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 to, to increase the click through rate, but like let's say not that, that those quality articles. Yeah, you can use clickbait uh, yeah. clickbait articles yeah. and they will click. Yeah, and uh, that's that's what what's very important for us and for newsrooms as well that we uh, can keep them longer on our platforms, make them click more with the right content that is important to us. Uh, let's say that's as well premium content. So the the diversity in content is, is something we look at as well uh, when, okay. we, when we are personalizing, personalizing uh, some of our content. I understand the feeling of premium content versus, let's say, uh, lower quality things that you also need to have probably because people just want to consume mm -hmm. that. Is there, is there a way that you, can, that you can define this distinction or is it very subjective? Well, let's say that I wouldn't say that it's um, not quality content because we believe as well that uh, it's not that we want that our subscribers, for instance, only read premium content because they can be perfectly happy reading a Temptation Island article, for instance. Uh, but we need to ensure with personalization that the, the persons or the users that are on our platforms that are not our subscribers, that they, that they see as well our premium content. Yeah. Because 
it might be that you don't read any ar premium article and it can be that they never see a premium article when yes. they're personalizing uh, our content. Okay, so, so you want to make them aware yeah. that it's also an option. Yeah. yeah. It would be a pity if somebody starts clicking on non-premium yeah. content and then... And only see get, free, or free, yeah, or free articles. And then ends up yeah. in, in, let's say, yeah, a filter bubble. That, yeah. That's, that's, mm. the, yeah, that's, that's the correct word. Yeah. Where they they don't know anymore that there is also other content. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, very true. Okay, yeah. that's, that's something that we are very scared of. So that's okay. why we're measuring uh, those things. <clears throat> you already said you started with the basics of personalization quite some time ago. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. It started with using the correct first name. Mm -hmm. That's already something. Mm -hmm. uh, you are now at a more advanced point. Mm -hmm. Can you uh, can you explain to us which uh, which road you mm -hmm. uh, you took to? Mm -hmm to be where you are today. Yeah. What were the different steps? Yeah, um, well, let's say that um, personalization and the, the, when it was really a buzzword, mm -hmm. uh, it, it occurred already five years uh, ago in our uh, annual plans. Every year we were saying, yeah, we should do something on personalization. We do. And we did some things about personalization, the really basic things. But the, the, when the, the move to the more advantaged, uh, to the more advanced stage of personalization, which, which we are now, we took, uh, uh, let's say, yeah, for, uh, last year, uh, mm -hmm. when we uh, um, when we said, okay, we need to, to move ahead, and then we, we look for uh, for a partner, which is uh, Frumo, um, and then we we just um, thought about what would be use cases, what, where would we apply personalization. Then we define some use cases. Of course, we define as well some uh, field criteria or, or uh, measurements, uh, measurement points in which we uh, would decide would we go on or would we stop with personalization. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, and, and then we just, uh, and I say just, <laughs> it's not just, but we just implemented and we started doing some things, mm -hmm. uh, not always uh, through the, uh, with, with, with the whole de development stages was really something quick, quick and dirty on our sites. Yes. We, 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 we had a use case, we knew what we wanted to, to measure, and then we just evaluated and then tested okay. again. And Do you have now the feeling that trying to move quickly, doing things, uh, let's say, sometimes quick and dirty, uh, to move faster uh -huh. and to have a first test. Mm -hmm. Do you have the feeling that that, that uh, allowed you to to be more successful, to mm -hmm. go faster? Yeah. Uh, well, we. Let, I, I always say we try to learn, but it's it's difficult in a in a in a big company. Uh, it's difficult. We, we try to learn by doing. Um, mm -hmm. I always say as well, when we break stuff, <laughs> we try to make it <laughs> again. <laughs> yeah, I would say actually learning by doing is in, in, in business, it's the only real way of learning. Uh, you mm. can get informed mm. with, with, with books and with articles and with talking mm. to other people, mm. but it's always for their situation. Mm. Mm. So I would say, and I wonder whether you agree, that the only way to really learn is to do an experiment, see how it goes, mm. and then do it again, do it again. Yeah, of course, because that, that's what we, that's what I told as well. Uh, actually, we, we did an MVP. We, we, we mm -hmm. tried to, 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 to isolate something in a use case, try to measure it, then evaluate it. Because otherwise, real, really in, in, in big companies like ours, uh, with complex um, uh, roadmaps, it's very difficult when we would work um, and just put it on a roadmap, we certainly would be uh, implementing it right now because it would be uh, implemented the right way. And, 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 and let's say uh, what we did last year was quite some hacking uh, mm -hmm. as well mm -hmm. on our side and I guess as well at Frumel's side. So, um, so yeah, of course. Uh, okay. Was it also necessary for you to, uh, let's say, evangelize what is possible to, to the broader company? Mm. Is, was a use case important mm. to show to people yeah. what it means? Yeah, some people knew that we were going to test with personalization. Um, now we're at the stage that we are, um, yeah, we tested some things last year. Today, 2019, we really have a personalization roadmap. So it gets focused from a lot of a lot of certain teams in our in our, in mm -hmm. our development development stage. Uh, so. Um, of course, it's it's important now that when we are implementing things, uh, that people know what we are doing. Certainly inside uh, newsrooms and, and news brands, because um, our first tests were on one news brand, 
uh, we learned in, in, in we learned what we did at, at the news brands and it's certainly the goal that that we are implementing those things in all our other news brands which are yeah, 10, 10, 10 news brands so so it's very important that that we uh, tell people inside our company what we are doing um, and that's the stage where we, where we are where we are now and and of course we have no secrets uh, i try to be or we try to be transparent uh, about what we are doing uh, we, we worked behind the scenes quite for a long time i know but now it's time for us to to step out and tell what we are doing mm -hmm. that's what we are going to do as well when when uh, at media has we have some media has academies media have cafes we are going to do sessions about what we are doing with personalization um, where are we now where will, where will we be heading uh, what yeah. we are doing so um, the goal is transparency yeah. okay a very important role in the news ecosystem let's say mm -hmm. is journalists uh, and they uh, they have a very important job mm. what is according to you their view on the whole story of, of personalization well, I know they are eager to know about it. They are very eager to know, they're very curious, but that's, of course, their job. That's their nature, uh, yeah, that's their nature, yeah, <laughs> sure. But, um, uh, and it, that's okay. Um, but I know as well that they're quite concerned as well. Uh, they mm -hmm. are curious, but concerned, not against it. That's not what I feel in company, but they want to know. And that's why it's very important to tell them what we are doing. Mm -hmm. That's why the, those sessions in that Media House Cafe are really necessary to tell them what, what's, what's going on because we, we, we are used to working uh, like we work today um, for several years, let's say 10 years, 50 years maybe, uh, where our journalists are deciding what is going to be where. Um, and it's, mm -hmm. it's, it's a process. Uh, we don't know where it will end, but it certainly will be, I guess, a mix between journalists deciding which content and the machine deciding maybe which type of content for whom but that's something we're, yeah. we're still figuring out and that's what we are trying to uh, that's why i want to to have their input as well yes. because we're, we're still working on on i always say the basics of personalization we're still implementing the basics mm -hmm. but the, the greater things in personalization like personalizing home pages or our newsletters that's something we still have to be working on now and, yes. and we need input from from those people so uh, it's not that it's that we want to keep it a secret for them uh, in, on the contrary uh, we want to work to, to, to have yes. them in workshops and, and do uh, do talks about them about what we're doing yeah i think this next step is really important mm -hmm. uh, in a sense that you will only reap the full benefits of being relevant to your consumers mm -hmm. if you can really be native. Yeah. If if the, the relevance is part of your main experience and not in, in, in mm -hmm. some corner. So yeah. it will be it will be important. Uh, but, but I understand you need to have the full company behind the plan to be able to make it to make it a native part of your company. Mm -hmm. If you consider personalization and being relevant to uh, to news consumers in general, if you consider it in the broader picture, mm -hmm. How important do you think it is? Is it a key element in whether you're going to win or lose in the next years? It's in our values as a company to, to, to work data-driven. Uh, that's something that, and, and we're still working on that. I think there's still a difference between data-driven and what I always, or what we in the company always say about data, working data-informed. Um, when, when I say data informed i want to say that that let let the data do the thing and let the insights over on people who know what data is and what it can be what that can challenge the data on what, because mm -hmm. i i think data can lie as well yes. uh, sometimes uh, and that's what we need to be aware of certainly what you said as well as we're in a news context we're considered as a fourth power so we, we should be uh, worried about uh, and thinking about uh, what we are doing uh, mm -hmm. with, with data and and and, and not blindsided decide on oh the data says that we should do that uh, no mm -hmm. we should look at the data with people that are very uh, specialized in what, what, what data is and what data can do mm -hmm. and inform to people that should take decisions about okay. it. Uh, but probably uh, you already had some challenges about getting the correct data. Mm -hmm. Is it a challenge? Mm -hmm. Yeah, of course. Mm -hmm. we, we have data scientists. We have uh, lots of people working on data and still it's a, a very big challenge to um, to to have the right insights on the data and that's not only that's that's not the problem of the people working on it it's a it's a it's a 
it's a problem of all of us. Like, let's say, when we are developing, we should think from the beginning already, even, okay, which, which numbers or which, which insights should we do? Which, which insights do we, do we have? Mm -hmm. uh, or, or can we, or would we use? Uh, yeah, think, to, think in advance, what think do you want to measure? What do you, yeah. want to measure, what do you want to measure? What do you, what do you need to, yeah. to prepare for if you want to measure? Exactly, it. and that's what we're still learning. Uh, so, um, it's not that afterwards uh, we look at people uh, working on data uh, and they tell us sometimes, yeah, it's not already, it's not in, it's, it's not incorporated in, in, in development stage. Mm -hmm. That's a problem. Okay. So, yeah. At the moment, what is your biggest challenge? Really, it's 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 a combination of two things. Uh, we are implementing already our first features in personalization today in our company. And that combined with um, keeping people informed about what we are doing, what, where are we going, uh, because I cannot decide that on my own. Those two things already combined with the, the, the factor that we, we now we are, we are already implementing and developing, and now we, sh we should also, also think ahead already. So mm -hmm. those three things combined, that's, that's, that's quite a, that's quite a, um, a challenge. Um, and of course, the development speed as well. Um, like I said, we have a uh, focus on our roadmap for personalization, but it's a complex thing that has to be uh, implemented with, uh, with with two or maybe three partners. Sometimes yeah. we have development uh, departments in Belgium, Netherlands, and, and, and then we have development uh, department of Rumo. Combining those three is, is sometimes uh, also a challenge. Yeah, yeah. I would say it is also important to have, let's say, one or two people really trying to move it forward. Yeah, of course. Because I would yeah. say if you don't have those people, and I think in your company you're one of those people, mm -hmm. uh, it's almost impossible mm -hmm. to make progress. Yeah, of course. Uh, that's what we noticed. That's, that was our way of work a couple of years ago when lots of people had um, had influence on what we would be doing. Uh, mm -hmm. and, and now we try to um, simplify on, on that process as well. And that's as well a challenge to be a digital company. Uh, because uh, yeah, in digital you just need some speed uh, mm -hmm. to, and that that's that's it's about making decisions, but it's also in development, and and, and it's also on, on yeah, it's on every level of our company that we that we need to make speed to to, to go. That's go interesting. Uh, can you explain why you need speed? Uh, because I think we cannot lose time anymore on on mm -hmm. what we are doing. Um, we have, we have, uh, as a company, we, we, we've moved further. We, we bought uh, some companies in the Netherlands, and there's a, there's a complexity of, of merging those things and um, and rolling out some some features uh, to 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 the whole broad company mm -hmm. and and do and do an, an experiment with new things. Uh, so. It's a it's a it's a thin line. We should we should make speed on on both sides. Uh, yes. Implement uh, other companies, but as well uh, do other new things like personalization. Okay. Being uh, being uh, aware that there is something like uh, text to speech uh, all mm -hmm. of all those things. Okay, uh, would you say that if you don't move fast enough, then your competition? Might move faster and and, 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 and be yeah, of course. better than you are. Yeah. Is that is that an important? Yeah, reason? of course. That we in Belgium and Netherlands we have great competition. Uh, they have the ch the same challenges. So, mm -hmm. um, but that's what makes it uh, uh, special and 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 fun as well because mm -hmm. you have a good competitor to work with. Yeah, and it's really a challenge to be. Uh, yeah, sometimes ahead of each other. Yeah. yeah, you're both raising the bar and yeah. pushing each other to be yeah. better every day. Mm. Uh, you have technical teams, you have management, business, journalists, very important part of your business. Uh, mm -hmm. How do you succeed in aligning all these people to have this broad buy-in uh, about what you're doing? Um, simply said, we try to be open and transparent about what we're doing. Um, it helps that I can uh, work together with all those. Um, each news brand has a digital manager, which yes. has the responsible for digital strategy. So I have, to, I, I can work together with them, uh, and then we we have some uh, some edit, editorials in, ch in chief that are uh, responsible for deciding. Mm -hmm. And actually, when we're with those with those people, in a, that's a quite small group, then we can go further and, and, and decide things. Okay. Yeah. 
Okay, mm. so the key is, on the one hand, inform the very yeah. broad yeah. Uh, collection of your colleagues, of but course. on the other hand, have a rather small team that has decision power, mm -hmm. uh, which allows to actually move instead of mm -hmm. discussing uh, the whole Yeah, time. That, that's what we see today, yes, that we have to be, uh, uh, we, we cannot forget <coughs> anyone in the process, so everyone needs to be aware of what we're doing. But not an, not any not, not anyone can decide what we are doing. That's something different. Yes. It's, it's, uh, of course, they there should be input. Yeah. But, but that's that's, that's think, the process we're going through. Right I now. understand that uh, that that's mm. uh, a key a key part. Mm. Peter, thanks a lot for sharing your insights with yeah, us. Thank you. Uh, I really enjoyed it. I also hope uh, the people watching uh, enjoyed it. Thanks a lot for watching this episode of Value from AI. Uh, if you like it, definitely give it a thumbs up so that the algorithms uh, show it <laughs> to more people. Uh, and uh, see you next time. Bye.